we were talking about just the fact that it's time for us to get out of the boat. Amen, we amen. have to begin to walk on water and step out by faith. But even as we're looking at that, Apostle, um, what I want to know, I want you to share with, with everybody what the Lord is saying. But, but even in this time, we are approaching a time, a very significant time in our walk as Christians. We are, we're coming close to that, that time. And I, I want Apostle to kind of just share on that um, tonight because it's going to be vital. It's important for us to be aware and to know. Everybody knows about Christmas. Everybody knows uh, about holidays that aren't even Christian. But there are some very significant times that the Lord even wants us to be even closer to him. Closer to, and we need to understand more about amen, how amen. he moves and functions. Apostle, I just, talk to us. I just want to greet each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. amen. I just also want to greet the Holy Spirit amen. Uh, in charge. You know, you know, times and seasons are critical, and we have seen a lot of end time event that are taking place, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it is critical because God calling Christian in this season to cement the relationship with God because Hallelujah. there are so much Christian that is very unstable. Oh my goodness! And most are focusing on the things of the world. Um, some are focusing on the title, while the soul dying, you know, each day. Yes. Soul dying, we have yes. seen what happened in Bahamas. We have seen what happened in different areas of the Caribbean. And the, God is calling the church to be on the play field now. You have to be out there. Um, there's a time for praying, mm -hmm. but also, and we have to pray as never before. Yes. But also the time has come not just to pray, but also to get on the mission field. Amen. Amen. Because the harvest is ripe and the labor are few. Yes. And God is calling the body of Christ in deep intercession and soul winning in a season like this. Um, the next season, thing I want to you know, uh, um, tell each of you about, times and seasons are critical. And there are three specific seasons that God instructs every Christian to come before him. And uh, it is very important. One of the seasons is um, Pentecost um, that we normally um, celebrate. And also, different from Pentecost, we also um, um, celebrate um, the resurrection season. Uh, which they call um, 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 Passover. Passover. Amen. That's the next season. Amen. Now the next season, the final and last season for the year is a season that they call atonement. And it's very important as Christian for you to know times and seasons. And within atonement, you also have what we call Tishri. And it is Amen. the end and the beginning of an agricultural cycle. Just think of it, are you as a farmer. You know, when you would reap the harvest and you would give away <coughs> some and you would prepare um, for the year ahead. It's very important that season, um, the season of Tishri, um, atonement. And atonement is the most holiest time um, for the year. And atonement, um, the day of atonement will celebrate, you know, on the 8th of um, October, um, different churches and, you know, Different, you know, the different people celebrate it. Some will celebrate it like the Sunday um, before the eight, because the eight may fall within the week, and so may after. But it's very critical because in the time of atonement, that is where you get your double portion and uh, double portion blessing. And it is a time that God called in His people into serious consecration prayer. You know, because now we're about probably about between now and the eight, probably about twenty days or into it so this is the time that we we get into consecration because yes. atonement is the most holy time yes of yes. the year and yes. this is a this is a season that they the, the jews itself don't you know regardless of you know their behavior mm -hmm. they don't believe in jesus christ uh -huh. they want to ensure that they will atone for the sin that they have done and yes. and, and, and during atonement 
God always forgive our sin. And other scholar oh, yeah. um, theologically believe it is a time of atonement that Jesus will return. And as we watching even the election that are taking place uh -huh. in Israel, we realize um, mm -hmm. that this is not the time to play exactly. because in the twinkling of an eye, Jesus Christ my can God. return. And uh, my job Jesus. is to keep you on your toe mm -hmm. to be ready. So atonement means the holiest day and God calendar is the holy day. It carries seven supernatural blessings, but I just want to, you know, tell you more about atonement. Atonement is about reconciled to God, whether you are backslidden or regardless of what taking place to you. You are no longer at the place. Some of you have a zeal that you, you know, you are serving within your church and you allow friends and people to come across. So you are not at the place in service. You are not at the place in consecration. Mm. You are not at the place in commitment. You are backsliding and there are people falling away in apostasy. So during atonement, God wants us to reconcile to Him, God. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a time of transformation. One of the biggest transformation that normally take place in the season of atonement. And you have to know the season. It's a time of cleansing of impurities, right? It's a time of cleansing of impurity. Um, it's a season that we begin to repeat um, Psalm 51. Um, you know, atonement is, you know, is a time that we walk in the supernatural blessing. You know, as, you, know you begin to walk. And I'm going to, you know, speak to you about the seven blessings that God normally pour out during the time of atonement. Amen. Now, great grace pour out during the time of atonement. Can you imagine as sinner? Or if we miss the mark and when we repent and cleanse ourselves, God always, um, you know, bless us mightily. And um, even as love for souls, um, churches or those that are watching in the Orlando area will have in their, you know, their, their prayer and fasting. They have it in the season leading up to atonement, you know, because there are certain blessings. We only can receive based off a holy lifestyle. Amen. It said, God will walk with you. God will dwell with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to teach you a gospel which is not truth. Holiness is the key. And God Amen. calling back the body of Christ for holiness. Because most people not speaking holiness anymore. Amen. Now, atonement also is a time where God said, mm -hmm. and none must come to me empty handed and when you read Exodus thirty four and Deuteronomy sixteen, you you see how important um the time of atonement is, right? Um so it's very important um during the time of atonement and um there's a time that forgiveness of sin mm. take place, right? Forgiveness of sin, um restitution mm. and restoration. I'm believing that this is a season that family will be restored and restitution will take place. Um, people that, you know, long, you, you, a breakaway, may, maybe a third party come in and God want to restore and, you know, time of restitution. Amen. Um, that take place in the season because you are preparing for the new year. This is a season when the new year takes place. There are two new year in January. Mm -hmm. And the month of between September to October 8th, during Tishri. that time, Tishri, Tishri, there's a new year. So we always have, you know, two calendar. Yes. The secular calendar and the, um, the, 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 uh, the Jew, uh, you know, the, the, um, the religious calendar, which they call the Jewish calendar. Now, now, atonement is a time of compensation, a time of compensation. Um, that, you know, regardless of, you know, some of you... You know, you have been treated badly and the time has come. Because what happened is that the kingdom of God, of, uh, of what we call laws, spiritual laws, and God operates within the laws to heal mm -hmm. and to deliver. You have a times and season for that. So you have to know the times and season and how you capitalize on that times and season. Absolutely. Now, rec um, compensation, recompense, payment, a time of payment, and a time also of repayment. Amen? Mm. A, a time of um, amends. 
you know, that will take place. And, you know, that will take debt forgiveness, a time of debt forgiveness. And we are praying during that season as you obey the instruction of the Lord. Remember, it's a non come before him empty handed. That means you're going to come to the Lord with a seed and you're going to place it, you know, during the times of mm. consecration. You're going to sow it for your restoration. Amen? Amen. A time when transgression is forgiven and pardoned. So regardless of um, us as Christians who miss the mark, you know, we have missed the mark. Amen? Amen. And, you know, just as we miss the mark, we understand that God is going to turn things around. Now, it's very important because I, before I tell you about the seven blessing, if you obey, that take place during atonement, is that between the month of um, of September, October, and the early part of November. Amen? That is when most of the, not just the blessing take place, mm -hmm. but that is time that most disaster take place oh, yeah. globally. And, you know, when I look at history, you know, I was studying in terms of history, because history have a time um, to... It always repeat and history teach us about the times and seasons. So when I look, I will look and see with the deadliest wildfire that normally take place. Apostle. Yes. As you go into that, uh, atonement right. this year right. falls on, uh, I think, October 8th. Is that so? Yes, it was October So this 8th. year, 2019, this year, uh, October 8th is when atonement yeah, yeah, I think that's when that way. falls right, on. Right. Okay. That the day, but we're in the season. Yes. It's the season. We're in the season. Right. The, but the that's season tissue day. between September to mm -hmm. October and even the month because you know after that you are going into a new year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The new year, the the, yes. the 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 beginning, the end, and the beginning of a cycle. Mm -hmm. And the Jews call it Yom Kippur. They Yom normally Kippur. celebrate Yom Kippur, right? So the when we look in terms of the activities mm -hmm. and the disaster that take place, mm -hmm. we realize that some of the most deadliest disasters that normally take place between September, um, the time of atonement, and it's critical for nations mm -hmm. and individuals cleanse exactly. themselves. Exactly. Because you can prevent yourself during that time of anything negative. And regardless of what take place mm -hmm. in terms of disaster, you know, uh, understand atonement, God will turn it to be a blessing, but nation will refuse to repent. Okay. Uh, we will see a lot of stuff happen. So when you look at disaster, yes. we've seen um, what we call in October 8, 70, 1871. Mm -hmm. October 8, 1871, 2,500 people perish in a bushfire in the um, United States of America. Wow. Uh, right? Wisconsin, um, right? Yes, Wisconsin. right. In... Um, in Minnesota, uh, 453 people perish. Between 453 perish, um, October the 12th, 1918. Mm. Um, also, September 1, 1894, Minnesota again, 418 plus people perish. Uh, we see in September the 5th, Michigan, 282 people um, perish. Um, September 1997. Um, 240 perish. October the 7th, 1825, um, 300 people perish in Canada. Amen. And um, November 8th, um, 2018, in, in California, over 86 people perish. Do you realize that all of those fall between the time of atonement? And uh, one of the things that God warning us about is disaster. He said they're, they're going to be an ex, you know, mighty disaster in um, what indonesia mm -hmm. we must also pray for jamaica um a major earthquake unless they repent amen and other places in the caribbean we are about to see the caribbean will be shaken and other places even within the united states of america will be shaken and we have to pray um in you know um and repent in september 8 1902 in Washington, 65 people. This was just bushfire. Yes. When we look at psycho, psycho clone, right? We see November 30, 1970, 
um, well, 500 people um, perish in Pakistan, in Kolkata, October 7, 1737, in India, uh, next slide, uh, what's that, 2000, um, uh, no, 1737, 1737 perish. Um, in India, November 25, 1839, what's that? 1,000, what's that? 300,000? Yes. Amen. 300,000 300, perish. Amen. So yeah. we look at, uh, a while ago on um, Cyclone, um, what's 200,000? October 30th, 1876 in <coughs> Bangladesh. Amen. October 8th, and we keep seeing October 8th just coming up in Vietnam. 30,000, um, you know, perish. Amen. Um, we also see in Philippines, um, November the 14th, 1977. Um, what's that? Um, 100,000. Amen. Yeah. Perish. And um, yeah. we are looking at that. We are also <laughs> going to look quickly to show you, you know, in terms of what happened during that period of time. Japan, September 1, 1923. 143,000 perish, amen. And we, we, so we have seen a lot of stuff. Um, I'm looking at um, this one, what natural disaster earthquake. Mm -hmm. um, October 11, um, 11:38, um, in what country there? That's okay. Syria. 230,000 people perish. Um, September 17, 1303, <laughs> um, in China. Um, 227,898 perish um, and there are many other dates in different countries that perish October the 5th 1948 September 27 China on nearly 100,000 perishing earthquake Pakistan October 8th wow. we we'll keep seeing October 8th just exactly. coming up exactly right 87,351 yeah. Right, that keep perishing in Turkey, September 30, Antioch, earthquake, amen, how much thousand people perish. So during the month of September, October, the first part a of November, of the, uh, the deadliest disaster mm -hmm. that normally takes place. And that is why my job is to teach you, mm -hmm. you know, about atonement and how to pray for yourself, your family, and your nation, because this is the time that the enemy normally come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Yeah. But we have a Savior, which is Jesus Christ, and if we atone, and if we be, be, you know, begin to teach people um, the power of atonement, then you know a lot of people will be saved. Now, the next thing is that during the time of atonement, there are seven supernatural outpouring <laughs> take place. Amen? And we're going to be looking at it now. L listen, remember... You must celebrate it with prayer and fasting and consecration. You must sow your seed. If you don't have a home church and, uh, you know, the Lord speaking to you, you can go on Romeo website and you say, this is my atonement seed. I am believing God for my family. Mm. I am believing God for my nations. I am believing God that this season will be the season of double portion for your life. And you're not going to... Look for nothing else. Okay. You are believing right. God. He said, there are seven blessings that take place during the time of atonement. You know, we celebrate it over the years that we have seen God move mightily in our life. Amen. It said in Joel 2, um, verse 23, uh, we're going to be looking at the book of Joel. It said, you will receive a double portion from the Lord, the farmer rain, and the latter rain, Joel 2, 23. Uh, you know, you will receive a double portion from the Lord. The former rain and the latter rain. So a double portion of each of these blessings. What it means is that regardless of you miss the mark. Amen. God is about to give you a second chance. Amen. Amen. Regardless. Amen. And that's how good God, God is. When... Disaster take place or the enemy strike, you know, it's when people go beyond. And that is why it's important for you to follow instructions. So do it, Joel yeah. 2, 23, a second chance, um, the double portion, the former rain and the latter rain shall meet up. The next, the next blessing that I'm looking at 
is number two. Your stretching floor will be full. And Joel 2.24. That means you will experience financial breakthrough that is too much and overflow. Double fire trouble. Can the neighbor say double fire trouble? Double for your trouble. So we speak on the double portion, the latter rain and the former rain. Absolutely. And now God focusing on the financial overflow. Yes. And the next one, Joel 2.25, read it for me. Um, so I will restore to you the years that the amen. swarming locust has eaten. Right. The crawling locust, the consuming locust, the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. So, the next one is a lot of us um, go through a lot of stuff. The swarming locust, some of them swarm you. Amen. Some of them chew you. Um, which are all locusts? You. Amen. Some crawl all over you. Amen. Some consume you. Some consume you. You, have, you know, you your literally stuff. lose a lot of stuff. Like crawling that. locusts. Consuming locusts, chewing locusts, all of these things mm. that come against God's people. And God said, I will restore, my God, the years. Can you imagine how much of you? There are certain things that are supposed to take place in your life already. But it has not you know, happened because the enemy has robbed you. And each time you are at the edge of miracle, the enemy keep you know, subtracting from your life. Amen? Yes, yes, so God yes. said, I will restore the year. That means the last year that you have lost over the period of time. Mm -hmm. God will bring you back on time. Exactly. Or bring you back in time. Exactly. Or bring you back on schedule. That, Amen? That's the real because time travel. Some of you are behind, but the restoration will put Bring you up ahead, speed. up to oh speed. Oh my goodness. My God, Hallelujah. Joel 2.25. Yes. The next thing we we'll look at now, read it, Joel 2.26. God will deal wondrously with you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God. Right. Who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. So you shall eat Plenty and be what? Satisfied. Satisfied. It's very mm. difficult sometimes because of financial thing mm -hmm. for you know mm -hmm. some of you. Um, it's from paycheck to paycheck. Mm. Um, you are in debt. Wow. You know your bank account in overdraft. Mm -hmm. But God said in this season, um, if you celebrate that, and it's not. I'm, I'm, I'm showing you the scripture for you to understand. It said He will dwell wondrously with you. Amen. That is what God's saying. You will see transformation you will see miracle that take place in your life Hallelujah. the next one is number five um joel 2 27 divine presence of jesus christ will be in your midst and you know you know we have been teaching about the present of god and the presence amen, amen. god is omnipresent but you know the present is not with everyone and don't mix up the gift the spiritual gifts our talent mm -hmm. for the presence of God because you can have gifts but the presence of God is not with you right, and right, God is saying right. that his divine presence will be in your midst Joel 2 20, 27 read it read it is divine then presence. you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel amen so you will know that God is in the midst number six and this is very important mm -hmm. amen um, God's eyes is on our children. Amen. God wants to do something with the children. Amen. Yes. It hallelujah. said, Your sons and your daughter shall prophesy. And if you don't have sons and daughters, I'm praying that God will open your womb during the time of atonement as a miracle. He said, Your sons and your daughter shall prophesy. Old men shall dream dream, and young men shall see vision. Now, what happened? Is that um, the Bible said, um, vision is when you are weak, and dream is when you sleep. And you have also vision that God places in you, like He gives you ideas, mm -hmm. and you know, God will give you different stuff for like a business yeah, stuff. Strategies you know, people, too. Okay. Strategy, just come up and say, God, give me a vision, an yeah. idea. Now, what God said is that. God is not in any competition with the young and the old. 
because no. both young will complement each yeah, other exactly, exactly. and in, in in terms of reformation and transformation to nations mm -hmm. amen? amen you amen. need the young and the old exactly to come together to bring solution for nation yes and with all that you're speaking about climate change mm. we're going to see more disaster we see you know oh texas is underwater yes. some part of texas now and other places right mm -hmm. no no, it's only going to take um, to deal with those situations. Revelation knowledge, revelation from God to his people to begin to give him, them the revelation to bring transformation yeah. to the nation. Ah, yeah, Apostle, you just said yes. a mouthful. Amen. You just said a mouthful. Right. So, what, what, what happened during atonement? Mm -hmm. God will begin to pour out upon your children. Amen. The children begin to prophesy and give you idea with the invention. Some yeah. of them, they are the one that will get the necessary revelation to even bring their parents out of bondage. Exactly. That they can go to nation. Do I write? Right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Your children. And it's not just your biological children. But your spiritual children. But the spiritual children will rise. Yes, mm -hmm. Dr. Bradford, and that's you spiritual children that have been faithful over the period of time that has not turned their back on you will begin to rise with solution to even help you say one yes. amen amen yes so they will begin to rise amen and during that time of atonement you will begin to see restoration because even the prodigal are coming home in. absolutely apart. because god's speaking to the prodigal yes yes you know, Showing them you know, things, dreams and visions apply to them. speaking to them in dreams and visions. Absolutely. Because even if you make a mistake, amen, mm -hmm. in time of um, atonement and, you know, and restoration yes, and restitution yes, yes. and reconciliation to God, amen, people, eyes will begin to open during atonement and the very children will begin to line up, amen. And, you know, say, listen, I'm reporting for duty, amen. Amen. So the point out that going to take place, going to begin to pour out and people, you know, begin to, you know, gonna come to come to life because God will send his angel to begin to encamp. And right now, the angel is even going through nations and, you know, you know, touching different people, you know, because God is now putting people, you know, back into their position for what is coming because, you know, the, the rapture can come anytime. Yeah. I said, theologian, believe that the rapture a lot of people believe even like a rabbi mm -hmm. that jesus will come back the rapture during the time of yes, atonement. atonement amen so be ready so they're going to be a massive and a major pour out as never before number seven um they that call upon the name of the lord shall be delivered can you imagine um the different place of disaster is including bahamas if they were calling upon the name of the lord so regardless of what stage you're into, regardless of what situation, even yes. if there is danger, persist in your life. When you call upon the name of your God in Joel 2.32, oh, nothing can stop your block. Your God will set you free. Hallelujah. So there are a lot of people that you are listening right now, you have been crying out for the Lord to set you free. It may be ad uh, addiction, it may be unforgiveness, it may be different things. This is the time that God will set you free. You will just wake up tomorrow and find miraculously that the, the what you call the obstacle in your way is Amen. gone. Amen. The people that is in your way is gone. Because some of you, the obstacle is, 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 is people that you allow to come across your path. Amen? So this is a season of blessing, a season of miracle, a season the time of atonement. This is one of the greatest seasons. I've been teaching it over the years. And I've seen major healing, major manifestation. People get their buzz because they celebrate mm -hmm. it. You're going to go into your consecration fast. Yes. You're going to get your best atonement seed. As the Bible said, he said, none come before him empty-handed. Because God wants to know, and this has nothing to do with your tithes and offering. That's God wants to know. Thing that the blessing that he has blessed you over the period of time that you would set part and part of this seed that you are giving to the lord is 
open the way for your new year because your new year starts during that time. Amen. And you are you are, you you are repenting and you are creating an environment for the new year that you will walk into. And as Christian, we have two new year. Amen. We celebrate it during that time. Yes. And we also celebrate it in January. January. So I just want to give God thanks and praise. There are many other teachings <coughs> on the atonement. This is the time also that you use the blood. Amen. And I will be teaching on the yes. blood. There is power in the blood. And we need to use the blood. When you are bathing the bathroom, you say, wash me with the blood. Yes. When you are sitting down, the blood. When you are in the vehicle, the blood. When you're walking, the blood. Because the blood is what cleanses us. When the enemy attacks your mind with negative things, you use the blood. Because the Amen. blood of Jesus is what, you know, answers all our accusations. Exactly. When the angel passes, exactly. even in disaster, and they see the blood upon your doorpost, mm -hmm. as a Christian, yes. you are protected. And we need to use the blood. When you're putting on your olive oil in the morning, you're consecrating yourself. Lord, anoint myself with the blood. Mm -hmm. Nothing but the blood. So as Christians, we need to sing the blood, eat the blood, drink the blood. Sometimes you just get a, a glass of water. And all of you tonight before you go to bed, anoint yourself and just consecrate that water. And say, Lord, I drink the blood. Because even as you drink it, there are things that is in deposit inside you that yeah. God will flush. And I'm speaking now. Lord, flush them with the, with the blood. Everything that is in their life, we call right now. Hallelujah. Those that are watching, that the power of the blood will come upon you. I speak that every gifts inside your belly that become dormant, that prophetic gift and those revelations that you are not feeling, the blood will resurrect you. It will restore you. It will revive you back to God. That level of consecration. The blood that God will begin to speak to you. That even tonight you can't sleep. Because you're going to say, Lord, the blood. Get me back at the place. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. What's her name? Nicole what? Plumali. Hallelujah. We give you thanks to give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 We bless the name. I saw her on the on the I saw you Nicole Plummer Lee. Um and as Apostle was speaking, the Lord is ministering to you. And there are some things the Lord says they're going to be supernatural turnarounds. You see, where the enemy would throw a whirlwind into your into your your, your your situation where he would throw a whirlwind at you the Lord has uh, he is sending uh, a, a, a wind to blow that wind away I don't know if you understand <laughs> you see God is about to move in a supernatural way for you Nicole Plummer Lee the Lord says right where you are take a moment and just rejoice and say thank you Jesus because he's moving on your behalf right now. Because I saw a wind happening in your life. And another wind. But this one is the one that the Lord sent. Hallelujah, and Lord. blew it right we, out. We, we pray for her right now. Lord, touch. We send an angel to visit Nicole Lee. In and we declare people Jesus. that she will be free tonight. In the in name Jesus of Jesus. Name. Amen. She will give a testimony. We take authority over the plan of the enemy. Every Hallelujah. sniper spirit. Hallelujah. Mm. And we declare Shaco the blood Vivian upon each and every one that are watching deliverance. We come Vivian against familiar spirit in and the name of Jesus. spirit. We come against spirit wife, spirit Vivian husband. Vivian keep us. We break it even now in Jesus name. In the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Dr. Bradford, the Lord is moving on your behalf right now. And there are some persons that the Lord is allowing to remember. They remember the things that the Lord allowed you to do in their lives or for them at some point in their lives. And they're remembering you. And don't be surprised if you get phone calls from some persons 
that you haven't heard from in a long time. But they are coming because the Lord is nudging them and unctionizing them to do and to move on your behalf. He's going to allow doors to be open for you. He is going to allow persons just to come to just release blessings upon you and to bring and he's pouring strength in your physical body hallelujah for that you would obey his instruction to to even call this conference there is a mighty outpouring that the lord is doing in you even now from this very moment and every person that is involved and is supportive of it the lord is touching their situation and i thank you for it my god in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah yes father i thank you i thank you you know god is truly good god is real god is amazing and i thank god for the things that he is doing teaching us about the atonement of us is yes i think it was necessary Amen. for us to know we have to know these things everybody knows about christmas everybody may know well most people not necessarily everybody uh, most people may know about Pentecost. They may know um, about the Passover. But atonement is not something that that people jump up and celebrate because it is not that. It is it is us reconciling with him again. Amen. You amen. know, and the wayward coming home and where we need to line up, we do. And atonement means we're becoming at one with him again. Amen, amen. You know. And because so, sometimes yes. you fast and pray or people try you know wondering why certain blessing is not coming upon them yes yes and yes. you know certain blessing has to do with reconciliation yes with God. yes yes reconciliation making, making what is wrong right. right amen and this is a season for it i know a lot of christians are very stubborn but you know to tell you the truth i believe our savior jesus christ is on his way and this is not the time for us to watch people because every man must work out your own salvation because many times in the body of Christ they are promising people <laughs> that God wants to use and because of True. others you know that will kill cut their across or kill their zeal, yes, kill their ministry, yes. um, kill their purpose but God is saying regardless of what mistake that you have made this is a time that you can reconcile to him to become one again absolutely and there is power in the blood remember hallelujah. that amen hallelujah my goodness what a night what a night what a night my god is good listen there are many of you the lord says he's he's also he's also turning some situations around where it comes to marriage he's touching that area so that the lord says just continue to stay in his presence because you may you may find yourself in uh in the position of okay now that this now that i'm seeing this what do i do because you may be praying for the husband or the wife to line up properly with the lord but then when it happens by the time it happens it's away okay okay i never expected this expect it in this season the lord says expect the unexpected Kurama has sat or rohush and